In the Apple Maps app, you can now download areas of the map that would otherwise not be accessible without a data connection when in those areas. Let's say I'm planning a road trip up to central Idaho around Deadwood Reservoir and the town of Stanley. The vast majority of this area will have no cellular connection. And any connection that there is will probably be slow and very temporary. So prior to heading into this area, I can come into the Maps app and download all the map data that I need to this iPhone. To get started with this, tap on your contact photo here in Maps. In this menu, we now have an Offline Maps section. Tap and a list of the offline maps that have already been downloaded will appear. I haven't downloaded any yet, so I'll tap Download New Map. Next, I can search for the town or landmark that's most central to the area that I want to download. I'll enter Stanley, Idaho. That draws a box surrounding Stanley. I need a larger area though, so I'll pinch to zoom out and drag the map to adjust its placement. I need the entire area between Stanley and Deadwood Reservoir here. Notice below that the larger the area within this box, the more data that will need to be downloaded. For rural maps, this number stays pretty low. The more cities and populated areas included in the download, the more data that there will be. For the most part, you probably won't need to download urban maps as there should always be a cellular connection in those areas. There is a limit to how much can be downloaded at once. Once I get to most of Idaho being included in this map, it won't zoom out anymore. Once I have my map set, tap Download and the data begins transferring. Notice below that we can choose to download maps only on Wi-Fi or with Wi-Fi and cellular. Having cellular turned on here will allow for downloads while you're on the road with a connection but be careful if you have a data cap on your cellular plan as these downloads can add up. Automatic updates will simply update the downloaded maps with new map data or changes as it becomes available. Switch on Optimize Storage and older unused map downloads can be removed automatically when needed. Turning on Only Use Offline Maps will essentially turn off everywhere else on the map. If I look at my current location now, which isn't downloaded, there's a faint checkerboard pattern over it. If I want directions to somewhere nearby here, it's not going to work because the offline maps only setting prevents the iPhone from accessing the Apple Maps server. So I would only turn this on while I'm in a large map area that has been downloaded. Tap on a downloaded map here, and we can adjust the area that it covers with a tap on the Resize button. We're also able to give the map a custom name or delete it. This can also be done with a swipe left here in the list. With this downloaded map, we'll be able to get turn-by-turn -turn directions entirely offline for driving, walking, cycling, even transit. We'll be able to pan and zoom around the map in the Maps app with no waiting for things to load. And these offline maps will also include location data like open and closing hours. These maps won't add any detail to the normal Apple Maps. So certain unpaved back roads and trails won't be included for the most part. For that, I still recommend Gaia GPS, which has detailed maps for rural and wilderness areas in the US and Canada. Here's a comparison of the detail we get in Gaia's map versus Apple Maps for the same area. The downloaded Apple Map is going to be great for guidance and directions on main roads, but for all these trails and back roads that you see in Gaia, not so much. For more on that, head to themacu.com slash Gaia.